Hi, I'm Pat Schmitz with EAA for the Fun Fly Zone, and we like to talk to some of the different manufacturers that are here every year. And I'm with James Weeby from Wichita, Kansas. He is uh, with Be Light Aircraft, and he's got a new model aircraft here this year that we'd like to talk to you a little bit about. Yeah, uh, we brought with us a Pro Cub from Wichita, Kansas. Uh, brand new uh, ultralight aircraft design. Really cool, made out of uh, carbon fiber and foam. But the neatest thing about it is it looks like a J3 Cub and it's an airplane that looks and acts like a real airplane while still falling under ultralight regulations. So now I understand you've got some unique characteristics about this, like the ribs. Tell us a little bit about those. Well, the ribs on this airplane are CNC cut out of foam mixed with uh, aluminum ribs and as a result you end up with a completely smooth wing which is a very low drag and a very beautiful wing and it's easy to build it's just like building a great big shish kebab uh, that ends up being your wing and I can imagine from a construction cost perspective it keeps things down so that the uh, aircraft is more affordable for your customers yeah all of the, the products that we sell are quite a bit less expensive than most of the alternatives out in the rest of the world uh, our planes are a little smaller, uh, they're a little easier to build, and in general, you know, the construction techniques are pretty easy to do. Okay. Tell us a little bit about some of the different parts on the aircraft that are unique. You mentioned something about 3D printing. Oh yeah, well, uh, I'm a big fan of technology. So what we've done over the course of the last three or four years is we've adopted production technologies. I'm always driven to try and reduce cost, increase quality, and increase precision. And with the uh, CNC techniques, we're able to do that. And then the coolest thing of all is we've started to use a 3D printer so that we can create plastic parts that are exactly what we want them to be. As an example, we 3D printed our own pitot tube we 3D printed parts for our instrument bezels and we 3D printed parts for an angle of attack indicator. All this stuff just looks amazing and it appears out of nowhere on the bed of a 3D printer. Now I understand you have an engineering background and, and uh, B-Light isn't only known for aircraft. No, it's not. We do uh, electrical instrumentation as well. I've been doing electrical engineering for 35 plus years, oh, around 35 years. So when I was uh, getting involved in uh, this particular aircraft design, one thing I found really frustrating was that in electronics, your choice was to go to expensive glass or old-fashioned steam gauges, and there was no in-between land for the guys who wanted highly reliable single instruments that were made electronics. So what I did basically was replicate existing steam gauges, people can understand them, and I did that using low-cost electronic technology, low-cost uh, stuff with very bright displays, and we ended up with basics you know, an airspeed indicator, a fuel gauge, and we found that people really resonated with that building block approach. Well, excellent. I am excited to see that you guys are back again this year, and certainly new technology for uh, all the customers to, to choose from, and uh, we look forward to seeing more from you as time goes on. So, uh, I'm Pat Schmitz with the EAA in the Fun Fly Zone, and we look forward to seeing you again sometime. Thank you, Pat. It's a pleasure to be here.